So when I started high school, I had this weird morning routine. I would wake up to multiple alarms. So my first alarm would be at 7, then I would go back to sleep and wake up at 7.05, then go back to sleep and wake up at 7.10 and 7.15 and, and so on. And now, I, I don't know. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure I remember why I was doing that. And then after finally getting out of the bed, I would go straight into the shower and turn on hot water and just like, and just be inside for like 15 more minutes. And after I was done with that, I would dress up for school and go back to sleep so I can sleep, so I can get some more sleeping in clothes for school and I was sleeping until like the last second and then I would get out of the bed and rush to school. So that was up. It's such a pussy way to wake up. It was definitely not setting me up to have a productive way whatsoever. That was definitely a pretty shitty period of my life. And I guess my morning routine reflects that and might even be like that for you. So consider fixing it, you know. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to do it, so stay tuned. So I made a video about the single worst habit that you can do in the morning. But if that's the bad one, what, what are the good ones? Well, let's first talk about what my morning routine looks like right now. I wake up, one alarm, and I try to get up as fast as possible. Then I go to the window and open the shade to get some sunlight. I pop my head out for a little bit. And after that, I do 10 push-ups because it kind of gets me, gets my blood going. And it's also, you know, push-ups are good. After the push-ups, I go, I go to the toilet, I brush my teeth, I uh, do my skincare routine. After that, I go weigh myself and write down how much I weigh. And then I go to journal a little bit. In the morning, I just do some gratitude journaling. If you don't know what that is, I'll make a video about that one too. But it's basically just writing down what are you grateful for for today and that helps with your mental health and like happiness. Then I read a few pages of the Bible and I meditate for 10 minutes. After that I do some more push-ups and then I make my bed. So all of this lasts for about 30 minutes and all I use my phone for in that period of time is uh, meditation. So I don't check my notifications, I don't go text anyone, nothing before I'm done. You know this may sound like too much for you and you want to do less, we'll come back to that or maybe this is too little for you and you want to do more and you want to be more advanced. Well, if that's the case, then by any means, go ahead, do way more. Uh, there's nothing stopping you. You can do an hour. You can have two hours of morning routine. Just, you know, be efficient with your time. If this is too much for you, then in that case, you can shorten it down. It's totally fine. You don't have to do 30 minutes. You can do 10 minutes. Just look to upgrade it with time. You should be able to get your numbers up and you should be able to progress and with time build up your morning routine to be more advanced that's totally fine i understand you might have school in the morning or work and it can be difficult to balance your morning routine and your school that starts at whatever 7 pm i have school too but i'm kind of privileged that it doesn't always start too early so i found a way to work around it if you can then absolutely find a way uh, if you have to sacrifice sleep, then I wouldn't recommend it. You should prioritize your sleep over the routine. So about how to build your own routine. Well, you heard all of the things that I do, you can implement those. Some of them are more advanced, some of them are less advanced. Uh, you can implement things like work, you can, you can do the gym in the morning, you can read. Also another thing, time efficiency. I know it might be difficult in the morning because you're very tired and everything and you're not that motivated, but you should try to do your routine as fast as possible because you might want to have the longest routine because you're gonna feel super productive but you know it's more productive if you do things as fast as you can so you have more time because time, time is extremely, is extremely valuable. valuable and another tip i have is to not beat yourself up if you miss a day or two days have the mindset that you're gonna do this routine or you're gonna have a routine for uh, every day of your life and if you miss a few days make a big difference on the scale of your entire life you know so you shouldn't use that as an excuse, but if you do miss a few days, then don't beat yourself about it. Don't stop doing everything because now you missed a few days. Just keep on, just keep on going. So that will be it from this video. I hope you build an amazing morning routine and stick to it. And also, if you like the video, you should hit the like button and you can subscribe if you want to see more of these self-improvement videos from a small channel, which may help you a lot with your self-improvement journey. So, so, you know, might as well subscribe. So yeah, that's it. Bye.